What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Louisiana, my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off what happened last time, we've got a lot of the Mughal cities, well, two of the remaining three under siege, so I figured why wait, let's just attack, at least with Lahore for now. Um, and I would, I could auto-resolve it, but it would draw in or cause uh, attrition to this army. I've tried to demand surrender and they will not take it, so we're just going to do a quick and dirty assault of the city and with this i think the mughal empire may have lost their last university i think i'm not sure i can't guarantee it they'll, they'll definitely lose one of their major universities but I'm, i think it, it is their major their major university the last big one because we've been slowly rolling through and demolishing them as we've been capturing territories Okay, so because the garrison is so low, I'm going to limber it and have all my field artillery work on one breach. Oh, that'll be okay. And then I'm going to have a bit of a bigger cluster of infantry to assault the, the, uh, the front walls, for the want of a better word. Then I've already, I'm also going to send these guys in straight away. My howitzer can maybe deploy here for once and fire a, a lot perpendicular to the walls. That's pretty neat. So just set people to climb the walls and just get up. I didn't target my infantry properly. Quick line, this quick line battery, when it fires, should be able to really clear them off the wall. Holy hell. I'm losing a bunch of men to their mortar fire, though. Carcass shot inbound. Section of the walls almost destroyed. Actually, I might put the native infantry to climb and my grenadiers to hold position in front of the gate. Let's get three men to assault the walls, or three units to assault the walls, and then we've got three units push into the breach. But the native infantry should do some a good job to secure the wall or to secure the gate and then these two units can jump in. As can my cavalry. capture the gatehouse yet but let's just look at what what else is going on we're going to be firing into the breach significantly this section of the wall is being damaged oh that would have done some that's done some that shook him up okay this gatehouse is ours pour in the cavalry pour in the infantry All of you guys run off the wall as soon as you can. God damn, these guys just... These guys assaulting the walls just don't care. So 
So they're all fighting the same unit of Sieg Musketeers. Got our cavalry in there to go f take out the mortars. Get these grenadiers to form up. Looking towards the walls, we're trying to capture my because my cavalry is going to have to do a great job clearing out the enemy. My line infantry got annihilated in the breach. Swarm the wall. There we go, we've knocked out the grenadiers. We've knocked out there. Actually, now let's move one infantry unit on the timer just to make sure it does start. Uh, some of our units are getting a bit upset when it comes to attacking, up, attacking the wall. But then again, that is expected. The grenadiers are against the firelock arm populus, my cuirassiers have charged in. Okay, get these guys to charge across and also hit the Sikh Musketeers because they are the, the problem unit here. Those infantry mercenaries are formed square, but uh, for what purpose? None can say. Hey, my guys over here have been repulsed as well. How odd. My Cuesier are likely to get a bit upset. Especially when those infantrymen fire against them. The new men charge the seat musketeers in the rear. So you keep fighting those seat musketeers. Yeah, the armed populace. They're not going to stick around very long. I think it could have been a friendly fire incident over here. Whereas my quick climb guys are still firing. Come on, kill the last man of the armed populace. He's only one man. Good. Then charge into this unit of the Dakiri. Could have been done a bit more bloodlessly if I did what I normally did, but that would also take time, which isn't really necessary. When you've got such overwhelming numbers, you can do a bit of the Soviet Union and just swarm, 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 attack Pan Alpha. There we go. But Native Americans charging in. There we go, they've all broken. Sweet. That is Lahore secured. That's another major blow to the Mughal Empire. Let's destroy that university. Well, it's only traditional, it's not modern, so they're either not that high up or they're not. Well, they've got another university somewhere. Let's make sure they haven't got two. Pleasure Garden, Pleasure Garden. Steam Workshop, nope. Unless they've got one in Ahmedabad, Akbarabad, which they do. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Sir. Akbarabad's under siege. Could probably take it out, but to be honest, there's no there's no rush. It's next turn when we take when we've got Srinagar under siege. That's when we do it. The ruin has been fortified. Workers are on strike in Saxony. Oh god, I forgot all about what's going on over here. I mean, this doesn't look good. I 
Let's try and recruit a proper army here in Berlin. That could. 32 pounders, heavy horse artillery. Good stuff. We've also, we did manage to see off these attacks towards Hanover quite nicely. It would be nice to knock out them because otherwise they're just going to do a lot of raiding. Let's crew another stack of infantry in Copenhagen. So we've got hold of Paris. Everything's hunky dory. They're doing a bit of raiding, they're doing a bit of wandering. But chiefly, uh, Austria, Aust yeah, Austria is scrabbling. They are going to do some raiding around here, and it's going to be mildly frustrating, but yeah. This chap here, yeah, push your way up to the border with Sweden. Can you guys afford to leave? What if I put those troops in there? Good. Okay. Let's get these guys down to Malmo, and then I will get them shipped across the strait where they can join the battle against Austria although where would they go east east or west I don't want to do any building I mean they've not I mean they've got good numbers here yeah I've got to focus and think about the key victory here in India that's the if we capture and knock out India, actually, and we're also on the border of the, the Plains Nations as well. If we can knock out India, then we'll breeze through Persia, then we'll be into the Ottoman territory. We'll be into Ottoman territory, and I don't care if we're not at war with the Ottomans or not, I'm taking them out. Because <laughs> what we're going to do is uh, declare on them. Okay, good. So they did push. It's a lot of troops, so they've got a reinforcing army somewhere that I can see. And they are drawing in these guys up here as well, it would seem. They have one unit of artillery that will definitely make it in, because they've got... It's a heavy horse artillery. It might be a bit dicey, but, uh, but doable. Very much doable. Let's do it. Let's get ready to repel all attackers. Yeah, next turn, all things going to plan, which they never normally do, it's the end of the Mughal Empire. Then we can sprint through, well, one, one army will march to Afghanistan, another will march up to Persia, but the rest will sail to Baghdad. There we go, with our freshly built walls. So, there we go. Got our quick climbing howitzers. Cavalry that is suggestively, well, not super useful. But we do have lots of, we have lots of troops, that's what matters. So let's get the men up on the walls in obvious, more obvious positions. So where's my depleted units like the Grandiers? Something like that. Let's take... Now, field artillery can hunker down until where their breach is being made becomes more clear. And then we've got... Okay, well, let's put a line infantry unit here, assuming that some of them might breach through either of these sections and put a trench up. Oh, these guys could put a mine up, which I might put past the past the cavalry, past the spikes, so if they make it this far, then they hit the mine. They've got another guard engineer unit, who is not going to put down a mine, but instead is going to put down trenches here. I think that's a fairly good defence. But now, what's going to go wrong? Get some mercenaries up on the wall 
here. All these infantry units that have deployed. And to, to be honest, I could even do something. Actually, I might want to put some. scatter some grenadiers on the wall. Okay, so, it's, so over here is where they're looking, which is pretty good. I mean, I hope to Christ that wasn't. That might have been incoming fire. Incoming quick climb shot splattered on the ground there. But it can't have been. They don't have any. They don't have any uh, howitzers. The folks on the Swiss line, because they're pretty good. Swiss line and Swiss guards. It's nice to know they are focusing here. So I could, if I wanted to. I think I probably will a set of guns and move my infantry past the barricade. And I might deploy a unit, another unit here, because I'm assuming they will probably breach both in due course. Let's also drop some stakes, because these guys will spread out quite nicely. Until they make a breach, they have to uh, charge us. This could get a bit bloody. Let's get these grenadiers over he up here instead. Got my engineers into the armory, but if I turn fire it will off. There we go. Ah! Camera bodyguard! Get inside! Ooh, we're gonna get some good kills here. The wall is going down. Let's position my men like so. So they still engage this section of the wall. And limber, fire it all off. A lot of cavalry out there. Okay, grenadiers. Get your asses in gear because they've finally made landfall. I think they're interested in my general and the, this gate is open. So once they've come in and closed the gate, they'll suddenly change their mind. Oh, they've nearly got it. So you've got to leave enough men there as, a, as bait to get them to think it's a viable option. There they go. God bless you, man. So these guys would be here to fire across the, over here. You guys fire it off. Swiss Grenadier, that's not good to see. Neither are Swiss Guards back there. Check and swamp the Swiss Grenadiers while they try and climb. But now they've got a breach, I'd like to think they'll sit there and go, huh, should we aim for them? Should we go there instead? Yeah, go on, let's just go straight for that. Get this regiment étranger to come over here and also engage in fighting these men trying to climb the wall because they're about to be joined by a Swiss line unit. And I'll likely need them, if we can beat these guys, to swing and hit these guys immediately. Okay, you guys run back.
So here comes the Marines. Grand Air is going to fire into the breach, hopefully. Okay, maybe you might just be like that. If they're not going to fire at the fort, then you guys can do that and fire at will. Good, so that's one unit of infantry gone. Hopefully these guys can reorientate themselves in such a way that they good that I'll take care of that Swiss guard unit. Okay, this Grenadier guard unit needs to come over here and fight there as well. This line infantry unit can come here, take up positions to fire onto people that will attempt. Oh no, you've got to. Uh... Grenadiers carry on doing what you're doing. Good, line infantry go here and fire on people entering the breach. Regiment Etranger can stay where you are. Grenadiers engage those Swiss Grenadiers. And that night foot guard is going to rout in due, to in due course. Howitzers. Engage the artillery battery. Although it looks like... You guys are burged. <laughs> might be might be a uh, confliction issue. There we go. Those guys have manned the walls or manned the gate. Pat infantry are throwing grappling hooks, but they're going to abandon the actual pursuit of trying to climb the wall. Oh, here comes the cavalry. But they're thinking, we've cleared the way, we've made the breach. <laughs> we've cleared the breach, let's storm in. But then they find their cavalry can't go anywhere. Not they'd ever make it past these stakes anyway, but look at that. How devastating that is. In fact, you men hold your fire. You hold your fire. We want them to rout purely from the damage they take. We don't want to shoot at them and cause them to leave earlier than planned. Some of them might make it to our lines, but the bulk of them will not. There we go. And here comes the household cavalry. The 10th Horse Guards, a glorious unit that has no hope of progressing. Cut to ribbons at the entrance of our fort. The general's bodyguards actually came into the mix. Well, they did. If they come this way, they'll be greeted with a similar tactical problem. Which it looks like that's what they're going to do. Thinks he's being sneaky. He thinks he's found a way in, by God. Granted, he's in a spot where we can't shoot at him. But there we go. He's got the charge off. He's after us. Well, the mine didn't work. The building collapsed, though. Good job there was no one in it. These men are attempting another scrappy escalade. Escalade, escalade. The artillery's doing the good work, firing on the artillery at the back. The 
good. Good, good, good. Okay, maybe I might get this unit. Drop quick climb on these dragoons, because otherwise I don't think they're going to uh, ever attack again. Well, who's this coming in? Hungarian Hussars. Same problem. Stabby, stab, stab. How glorious and beautiful is this? Ah. Oh. Second Lancers are now coming in. They're going to attempt. They're going to attempt what all the previous cavalry could not. Lance is down. I mean, the officer's made it past the defences. But he's going to run into a... It's like this weird glitch or bug where all the swords they drop. The officers ran into a spike. Oh, here come the lancers. They're coming in strong. Oh. <laughs> if we just sit here and pretend, we'll be all right. So here come the reinforcements. Dragoons are under solid fire. Those light dragoons will likely fall in due course. They've made they've made technically the right call because cavalry is not worth it in this fight, and they dismounted them to get some use out of their cavalry before they're all slaughtered. But I fear it will be the same end. So we likely have reinforcements coming in. These men, when they enter the field, are going to go... Oh no, they can't. Run in! Run! Because there's a cavalry unit coming in with them. And they can't get into... They can't get into um, square formation because there's not enough of them. Oh damn, they made a right hand breach. Sorry, Regiment of Infantry, you are stuck. But you can kill many men. It looks like they're going to try and make a rear breach so you can pivot some infantry around to cover cover that okay, you guys now fire it will on because you got men to your front These marines are actually going to try and scale the walls to take out this regiment of foot. What a waste of men and resources. The cuirassiers are coming in. This regiment of foot as well is attempting to do some shenanigans. So let's Got a feeling those those uh, Swiss pikes going to charge in, and these cavalry. Oh, more, more cavalry! Yes. I mean, my my bigger, strong unit of infantry is going to 
fancy their chances against you guys. Come on, cavalry, in you come. Curacier's marines are also charging in, but they... They are, uh... Not as well equipped. Yeah, let the cuirassiers come in. It's not going to work in their favour. You guys can fire it on. Can the fusiliers. Come on, regiment of foot. Take position. Reload. Are they going to deploy stakes? Hey, they actually did. Push up, try to take out my uh, men here. Hey, the hussars knocked out my reinforcements. Nuts. But let's get my other cavalry out to play. Considering... Considering their cavalry is all but dead. These men can line the walls atop the gates. I want my slightly smaller unit of cavalry. Let's come out of this gate. To make their way towards the enemy guns to the rear. This unit is suffering in the face of these fusiliers. Um, but I think the 141st will be a deciding factor and they're already pivoting to face the threat. Yeah. Come Swiss pikemen as well. Let's pick new... Once the last volley's been fired. Pivot these men. Well, technically they've got the uh, human charge in. Same with my with my uh, guardsmen. Can you guys also charge in to fight them? Let's get my Chasseur Chavot to go fight the Regiment of Horse. You guys get in here. Although they're wavering. The morale just must just not be super good. I mean, I know they're charging, you've charged guard infantry who are probably Hacking them to bits. Let's get you around to try to fight the general's bodyguard. Charge in. Foot artillery just run away. Starting to get charged in the rear, so they should get start becoming a bit upset there. Okay, lots of cavalry back here, actually. Sixth and the eighth regiment of foot artillery. Get these men to man firing position. And charge the men on into the other artillery. I mean, they're at low strength, so it's a, a bit questionable how long they will, how well they'll do. 
good. We repulsed the... We repulsed the uh, pikemen. So let's now line up my men. Actually, go tag the centre. Just to bring it back into our ownership. Are these guys trying to quick climb my cavalry that's coming in. As long as they don't fire when I just before I get in. Now the cavalry is doing a good number on their general. Yeah, speed up time. Killed their general. Let's chase down some of these men. Oh damn, we don't get to chase them down. Oh well. We repel the ghastly Austrians. Back you go. Pull it, pick another card, try again. Those men have been destroyed. Well, they've been significantly damaged, which is what's going to... Uh, when the five men come out of Copenhagen, that's what's going to annihilate them. They were making moves on Prague, but they're not going for it. Raid Austria as much as you like. I don't mind if you... Oh, I hear a navy engagement. Uh, first rate. Not. Hey, we didn't die. Don't worry, Spain, you're next. Well, on your way to being next. Spain wants to go around and clear out my guys that are raiding the Austrian shore. I didn't lose any, but at least they didn't capture any of our ships. Yeah, you're not going to sail near near um, England, though, are you, Spain? I mean, it's oh, Ottomans after Ottomans are attacking someone. Ah, took out two of theirs. Well, I think we got captured. Blast. But the important thing is Austria didn't go for Prague. Oh no. Sweden's going to attack somewhere in America. That's what's going to happen. That is what is going to happen. The AI is famous for this. Where it just goes, oh I'm not. Me. Attack someone. Pretty little me. I mean, if you don't attack me, Mughal Empire, you're done for. Because the garrison at Akbarabad is is big, but it's not qualitatively good. Do I want to intercept? No, because I want to see where they go with it. Oh. That's much worse. <laughs> so they're gonna okay, yeah, so you know when I said all things being things being all things being equal should be okay. Probably not. Um we do have a good reinforcing army though. I mean it's depleted, but we should be able to do a lot of damage to them. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for a pretty important defensive battle, although just before we end the episode I'm gonna do this. So I don't forget and end up fighting a battle that's got loads of loads of low quality uh, units coming in first and foremost. Although, although it looks like we, we might be coming in from behind them. Hmm. This will probably do. But yeah. Radio. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.